Mother's Day is coming, which means lots of well-intentioned, heartfelt ideas that usually result in extra mess and a lack of sleep. So we've been asking the mums netters what they really want for Mother's Day so you can share this video with your partner and give them some better ideas. Yes, other halves, we're talking to you. Let's start with the basics. Sleep. 90% of mums netters said they would like a lion past 8 a.m. Remember what that feels like? No, me neither. But 58% of mums netters said they were definitely up earlier than that. Pro tip, intercept the kids on the way to the bedroom. They're gonna wanna show off that beautiful glittery card and the wonderful breakfast they've made, but maybe delay the reveal by one, two hours. Go downstairs, work on breakfast together, and keep them quiet. On the subject of breakfast, 64% of mums and others said they'd love breakfast in bed. But a common complaint is that after you've enjoyed that lovely tray of burnt jammy toast, you get downstairs and the kitchen looks like it's staged a food fight. So if you want to nail the breakfast in bed thing, make sure the kitchen is spotless when you finish. <laughs> and maybe keep the breakfast options to stuff that the kids can't make too much mess with. The jam. The jam just gets everywhere. Usually delivered with breakfast is the card. 37% of mums and netters said they would like something homemade from the kids. An easy winner here is a card. But a couple of things to keep in mind. One, the night before is not the time to start your masterpiece. Two, keep the mess to a minimum. Glitter is great, but someone needs to clean it up. And three, Maybe keep an eye on the creative direction. We've seen some really interesting ones in our time on Mumsnet. And finally, the big one. 55% of Mumsnetters said that they would just like some time to themselves, but half of them said they didn't get any. This one is super simple. Just take the kids and take them away. Take them to the park, take them to soft play, the grandparents, anywhere. Just one to two hours of peace and quiet for a bath, a hot coffee, a book, just some general quiet. That would be lovely. So, to recap, keep the kids away until a reasonable hour in the morning. Don't make a ton of mess because someone's gonna have to clean it up. And take the kids out for a bit of the day to give us some space, easy. If you want more hints and tips on how to win at Mother's Day, but also the main gripes to avoid, head over to Mumsnet. We hope you have a great Mother's Day, and don't forget to subscribe to Mumsnet's YouTube channel for more great parenting content. Just click the big M. Go on. Go on. Click it.